Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yuri Folani. Hope you had a great weekend, drizzling slightly in, um, you know, Lagos, southwest of the country, where we're broadcasting from, especially in Ikosiketu. For those of you watching in uh, Nigeria, because you might be in a different part of Lagos where it might be, you know, all sunny and all of that, but it's an overcast day. Anyway, the weekend, you know, we were regaled with tales, um, well, maybe I shouldn't say tales, shall we just say stories? But before all of that, let me just get ahead to, you know, telling you the first person I'll be chatting with this morning, Ahmed Dada Abaz. Mr. Abaz is a lawyer and he's also a political affairs analyst. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. Thank it's, you for having it, us. It's our pleasure. And we shall be joined shortly by uh, Oyekachi Ubani, another legal practitioner, in fact, second national vice president of uh, MBA. And um, today we'll be trying to find out whether, uh, you know, the National Assembly will indeed be reconvening tomorrow, as has been the idea that's been out there. But then when you read the papers, to the extent that you can believe what they are saying, they are saying the, the officers uh, who would give effect to this, or shall we say the legislators themselves who would give effect to this, are saying that... Um, well, so far there hasn't been any communication, and so, in fact, one paper, The Nation, in fact, this morning has a little um, side story there. Uh, Tuesday does not look practicable. The basic challenge is the crisis of confidence amongst members. I guess you know the rest of the story. You can fill it in. It's all about the Senate president and his position. How, how secure is it? Again, you go back on that particular story, he would, you know, along with his deputy, both of whom are from the minority, uh, from the minority party right now, would rather continue as heads of the legislature. And um, that's not going down well with APC. In fact, the APC chairman has said that um, the Senate president will be impeached legally. Seems very hard to do, seeing as they need 73 senators and... Um, it doesn't look like they have those 73 senators. But there's a lot of muddy water about this. Or is that just sentiment? Is the water as clear as possible if you were just going to bite the bullet on this whole matter? Ah, thank you. Uh, I, <laughs> Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian issue, you know, sometimes we, as a student of Nigerian history, if you look at the way our politicians practice politics. The danger, as enumerated as far back as 1922 by Mahatma Gandhi, when he was enumerating the seven deadly social sins of any nation, any nation or society, where he talked about um, wealth without work, education without character, science without humanity, commerce without morality. He spoke about politics without principles. So when you have politicians who practice politics without principle, you will find yourself where we are today. The kind of logjam we have. Yes, because democracy, politics is called a science. And once you refer to a subject matter as having scientific um, um, properties, it simply means there are settled governing principles via which if you practice according to those principles, the results will be predictable, the results will be certain, there will be order. Because what science does is it brings certainty and order into Indeed. an aspect Indeed. of human life. And so there can be repeatability. Observe, yeah. And the principles, like they said, is always observable, it's always repeatable, testable, and universal in its results. But when you have people who are not willing to play by that, those settled principles, you are going to have chaos. That's exactly what we are having. Because the decent thing for Senate President Saraki and Deputy Senate President Ekwere Madu to do would be to resign uh, in, in view of the current situation. But then, there are people who are going to howl their opposition at that sentiment and say, that's a biased position. But look, we're talking about what you've just spoken about. See, the well, whole you, you, you decency can, of the matter. You cannot, you cannot eat your cake and have it. You cannot approbate and reprobate at the same time. You cannot blow hot and cold at the same time. 
I have never seen where a minority party presides over an assembly or a congress having another party in majority. I have never seen, I don't know, except someone could help us in any democratic dispensation. The, the, the most decent thing for the Senate president to do is if your party, you are finding it difficult to be accommodated and you are cross carpeting to another party. Meanwhile, you are the, presi you are, you are the president of the Senate. Mm -hmm. The most decent thing for him and to chairman have done. Chairman of the National Assembly. The most decent thing for him to have done, at least to set precedent for upcoming politicians and youths, is for him to tender his letter that I, I can no longer subscribe to the values or the principles of APC. I find PDP more accommodating. And therefore, I'm leaving APC, leaving my office, and going to PDP. Even though there is no rule that expressly states that you should do the honorable thing. I think that's also something that we've been throwing there. So it, it, it becomes one, as you've just said, uh, that's based on a principle, that's based on a certain morality, and um, an aversion for the incongruity of the situation. But it might well be that this very incongruity is, is indeed what is, what is desirable through as many spanners in the works, uh, as many spanners in the works for the ruling party, which is what he has been accused of doing, the Senate president, rightly or wrongly, but the uh, APC chair has you know, accused him of you know, not really working to further the aims of the current administration. And I've cited examples, the latest being, according to the, uh, uh, that we can verify, according to the um, chairman of APC, that look, you vacate you, you, uh, the Senate, you, you see, the Senate takes, a, Senate takes a break, even though you haven't resolved yet the whole matter of the budget of INEC. Okay, it was said that that will be done on Tuesday, that is, the House will be, the National Assembly will be reconvened. Now we're having the possibility that um, it might not be. So I said we don't know exactly how that will play out, but I said that that might not indeed be this, the case. You see, you see, uh, Mr. Fulani, the danger of, you know, there's this saying that if you cannot beat them, you join them. You see, the danger of joining those that you cannot beat, even when you know from inception that you do not belong to the mm. same ideological school of thought, mm. you will run into a problem. And that's exactly the problem APC is running into. You know, they say, if you can't beat them, you join them. Most times I tell people, if you can't beat them, stand one million miles apart <laughs> and let people know where you stand part time. Okay. You can't eat your cake and have it. Once it was obvious from inception that APC went into alliance with people of different school of thought that are not, that cannot be reconciled. Their philosophies are quite different. Their ideologies are quite different. Their motives of being in politics are quite different. So the problem was predictable. Okay, but was they, but very, they were still, very predictable but, because from inception. But they were hoping for the best. You have, you have, uh, there were just two options. You, you had to have been a seer, perhaps, to have seen these problems that early. Look at, mm -hmm. look. They might have thought that Sarah no. was a convert. No, no. You wouldn't From have, inception, you wouldn't accept that. the APC did not want Sarah He only outsmarted them. That, well, th that therefore is a problem. <laughs> then that's not the problem. So the, the options they had from in inception was you fight ruthlessly from beginning, fight and ensure that you enforce your mandate from beginning. Immediately you have accommodated that situation, then you just have to manage it to the end because you simply have an enemy in control of the cockpit of an aircraft that is mid-air, mm. struggling with, the, uh, with, the, with him in the cockpit is endangering the entire that's exactly. The entire I, craft I will, yes. and the passengers. And the passengers there. there. That you is how what? I situate it. I've got to take a break now so I can bring on um, um, uh, Onyekachi Ubani, uh, which, uh, who I said was going to be part of this conversation. We'll be right back. Stay with us, please.
So welcome back. And, um, you know, joining uh, Ahmed Abbas, lawyer and political affairs analyst, is another lawyer and political affairs analyst, Mande Oyekechi Ubani. He's second national vice president of the NDA, and we're delighted to have you. Thank you very yeah, much for thank coming. Thank you, Chief. Uh, I'm also delighted to be here. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And um, you were in studio, as a matter of yeah, fact, as yeah. um, uh, Ahmed was, you know, opening up. Mm -hmm. uh, and long and short of what we had just spoken about was that in terms of morality, uh, when, the, when, 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 when the lie of the ground was such as it is, perhaps the honorable thing for both the Senate President and the Deputy Senate President to, be do, to have done would have been to resign. But you have said, sir, that um, it's not the way you see it at all. Yeah, that, that is clearly, you know, uh, on, on moral basis. Yes, the morality uh, and, and of it. Ordinarily, uh, when you elect the Senate president and that of the deputy, most of the times, it is the, uh, the ruling party that usually maintains the majority in the House. And so most times, by tradition, you find out that the Senate president or even the deputy in any of the uh, countries that will emerge will be a member of the political party that has majority. That's right. But nothing stops members of the Senate voting somebody who may be in the minority if he is very popular, a person. There was some naivety in the politics of APC that led to the emergence of uh, the Senate president and even the deputy. And we have mentioned it. Because remember at that point in time, APC was just, you know, uh, getting power from the ruling party. And so there was no much experience in most of the politicking and political, you know, uh, things that are going on in the country. And we knew how they misfired. And I allowed, mistakenly, this man they didn't want, according to their own, you know, this understanding at that time, to emerge as the president. And that was a very tactical mistake. Now, having made that mistake under the Constitution today, you can only remove the Senate president and the deputy in accordance with the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Anyone quoting anything is just morality or sentiment. Mm -hmm. You can only. And the Constitution itself did not even say that whoever emerges as the Senate president or the deputy must be a member of the ruling party. He's silent on it. Mm -hmm. And so when we are here as lawyers, we should be able to tell Nigerians the whole truth what the law provides. Mm -hmm. And then we can now say on morality. Mm -hmm. But Which if the, exactly man doesn't, yeah, what, uh, if the man doesn't have that morality to resign, you know, or whatever, you have to follow the law, which he is now insisting that, oh, I'm there already as the Senate president. For you to remove me, comply with the laws. Get 73 senators and get me out, kick me out, and I, and I go. Exactly. So that is the problem. Exactly. So, so we must follow the law. We and, and so let us not create some level of chaos and, and, no, 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 and, no, no, no. and crisis in no, the no, polity, no, 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 no chaos, you know, by, you know, in, in, doing something that is illegal. In, in fact, the, pro the, the, the whole program is over mm -hmm. with what you two gentlemen have just said. Yeah. It's, it's not a debate. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's what you have just said, what both of you have just said. However, we now want to go into the logjam that is created as That's a right. result. That's right. Um, first of all, it's trite to say that the law was not made for lawyers. It was made for society, for the right. governance of society. That's right. And it, it was made so that we would have some sort of order in our society. Don't take laws into your hands. Go by these guidelines and so on and so forth. Now we have a situation where, as you have said, uh, an organization was tricked into a situation. Uh, very, very smart of the Senate president, slept overnight in a car, ambushed the whole process, political naivety such as you have cited. But we now have a thoroughly unsatisfactory situation on our hands, politically unsatisfactory to those of those who are involved in it. And it couldn't go on forever. Now we've arrived where we are. Uh, gentlemen, what is, how do we come out of the log jam Beautiful. that we have? Is the APC supposed to manage this, which Adam Zoshiomole, chairman APC, has said never. In fact, he has gone as far as saying that the man will be impeached legally. So I'm sure you lawyers yeah, will be happy. Well, what, it what, remains to be seen how he's going to yeah, do it. Yeah. So how do we come now, out of the logjam of this unsatisfactory now, situation? What is the end, you know, the end interest of politics, actually? Why do we elect leaders? The paramount consideration of any political office holder in any climb is interest of the people. The moment you remove that particular criterion in governance, then you are going to have problem. You may continue to you know, fight and fight, and at the end, you have nothing to achieve. Mm -hmm. I just give you, a, let me give you a simple example of what transpired. In my own little corner, I emerged the chairman of MBA 2012, and I discovered that the people that did not want me were majority in the executive. He is a member of Ikeja branch. And I need to achieve result. 
I don't need to create crisis. A lot of my friends were advising me, oh, fight, you know, fire this person and all that. I said, no, what I'm here is to make sure that I have a legacy, something that people will look upon when I leave office. You know what I did? I worked as, alongside with them. I tried to carry everyone along. Within my two years, there was no crisis. And I conducted a free and free election when my tenure was expired without creating any crisis. Rather, we had the most harmonious relationship within the two years. Taking into cognizance that I had executives that were against me, and I was 90% you know, constituted that particular executive, but I worked with them. So the interests of the people should be paramount. But you now, were all lawyers. You were all lawyers. You, beautiful. All, all of you were, you, you were united by that single no, no, fact. No, it, it is leadership, sir. Hey, let, let me what tell I'm you. I could have created crisis. Let me tell you, you sir. Do you understand what so I'm trying you to know say, what I would have done. I'm trying to I'll, make a difference between yes. this example, yes. fine as it is, yes. and the situation on Look, ground. I'm talking about These governance. These were ideologically divergent no, no, people. No, there is no ideological, you know, because when they were accepting every person, APC, mm. into their fold at that time, mm. we want them. Mm. A lot of people were coming. And you use them to now gather the vote and you kicked out the previous government. So you must know how to manage yourself. What's already that alarm? I say, these people, do you understand yourselves? Mm. What is even the ideology of APC that these guys are keen in mm. when they are coming in? Mm. You open your hand and receive all of them. So when it was now time for sharing off, you say, no, no, you cannot be this. They yes. might say, no, I want to be this because I know what I contributed. And before you knew it, he has outsmarted you. Now, well, what you need to do as a politician is mm -hmm. that, well, how do we manage this man? Because it's like a, a bull in a china shop. Yes. How do we manage this man in order to achieve our purpose? They would have cut his friendship and you know try as much as possible to ensure that what matters in this politics is the interest of the people. But what did they do? They now start fighting him from beginning. For the three years we have known this government, they have never been at peace with the, with the National Assembly. Okay. And, and you have not been able to achieve most of yeah. the things you want to achieve mm. because these are lawmakers. Mm. They're the ones that will help mm -hmm. you achieve mm -hmm. your policy mm -hmm. and all that. As long as mm -hmm. you are in crisis mm -hmm. with them, mm -hmm. you cannot in any way affect the interests of the people. I so I'm you. thinking that they, they didn't play their politics okay. well, sir. I'm okay. saying this with every sense of responsibility sure. Sure. that APC misfired and they keep on misfiring. Okay. Now the new uh, what, chairman uh, we, they have brought yes. is creating more crises rather than, you know, the part of reconciliation, fine, and, and fine, all that, fine. You know, all of this is, that is wrong. Thank you. Uh, as the first, in the first instance, I'm sure you have more to say about that. But <laughs> Ahmed, when we look at it, everything that you know, Mr. Bani has said, excellent stuff. You know, but from the very, he said, perhaps the APC should have done a better job of courting Saraki and so on and so forth, and in order to manage it. And I'd likened it to his own example of how he'd gone about his own business. But from day one, the very first thing that you do as the new Senate president that has come in by force, quote unquote, by force, against the party's wishes and all of that, you install an opposition vice president, the deputy senator of the president. They still should be looking. What do you, how, how I understand Barista Obani's uh, argument, but when you look at the conduct, uh, according to uh, Shiomole, from day one, he's been behaving as an enemy within, from, according to the APC chairman. So I don't know that APC did not court the Senate president in the early days when it might have felt, but how do you really move forward from that glaring example of putting in uh, Mr. Ekwedemadu, Senator Ekwedemadu, as your deputy? So you have a situation, even if you get rid of me, you're still gonna have PDP at the helm of affairs. Wouldn't you agree with the chairman who says that the APC chairman said that this is enemy action from day one? Um, you see, I, I, I don't think any society will make laws to create anarchy, to create confusion. Mm -hmm. No society. At least intentionally. Intentionally. We create most laws were created to solve problem and bring orderliness, predictability into society. As the law, is, as it is as of today, section 50, yes, the three conditions under which the Senate president office can be vacated are one, if he ceases to be a member of the Senate, mm -hmm. or on the first sitting immediately after the dissolution of the previous house, or if it's removed by two thirds, mm -hmm. majority of members of the Senate. Those are clearly laws. But like I have said, there are traditions that are not written in democratic practice. And like he has agreed, 
I have majorly, any house that produces majority of the house members, usually, usually. elect. I, I, I don't think Republicans, as are today, controlling the Congress, will elect a Democrat. Yeah, they could. Mm -hmm. But the tradition yes. all over the it, world yes, is that is most problem. times it is the party that controls the Congress, that elects a member. And the reason is not far-fetched. Because the president and the Congress are like pilot one and pilot two of an aircraft. They are supposed to walk hand in hand. If you elect a man to be the Senate president that does not believe in the manifesto you sold to the party, to the public, because look, a party is like a company, the manifesto is like a product, the president is like a marketer. You went to town to tell the people, this is the product I'm selling, and they expect you after being elected to pursue those, to pursue those agenda. The danger, if you do not have interest in who becomes the president of the Senate, is that you could send a bill predicated on the promise you made to the people. And politics is about running down your position and making him look ineffective. So the danger is if you have a man that is on opposition to what you stand for, he can actually bring your program to a total standstill. And that is what has happened in the National Assembly. Indeed. I have not seen your president said, Mago is the man I deem fit to help me champion the, 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 the anti-corruption war. You say no. A member of the party, yes. pres the presiding officer, mm. Senate president, mm -hmm. helping to galvanize other members of the party and other opposition, we will not confirm him. We will not confirm him. Several times. What are you trying to do? You are simply trying to shoot down the aircraft of your president. The budget is another example that was cited by the APC president, uh, APC chairman. Yes. The lateness in passing these budgets. Yes. For those of us who are students of Nigerian history, we've seen the antics of the National Assembly that they are working in opposition. Sorry to interrupt you. Yes. Now that we have this situation, I guess how the, the, the interesting question is. We, we, we know, by and large now, how you can remove a Senate president. You know, you need two-thirds. In our case, it'll be 73 senators. You don't have it. APC is still smarting, does not want the incumbent Senate president who has gone to another party. He, so, uh, you know, he, he said something that I quite agree with. You see, when you are, leadership is about interpreting the terrain you are operating in and asking yourself, here you are going after mm. an enemy. You have to assess what do you have. What does the enemy have? You have Mark IV rifle, <laughs> and your enemy has AK-47 or submachine gun. You have to ask yourself, can I match him bullet for bullet? Mm -hmm. And if you can't, what is the next strategy? They ought to have managed the situation better than they are doing presently. But assuming they and haven't, when, in fact, yes. perhaps a lot and, of people say and, they haven't. And when you are going are to we now stuck with this till the end of this particular Senate until re-election? Because considering the way the Senate, I mean, the, the APC chairman, you know, his statements, very vocal statements, it shows that they're not just hurting, but want to address that hurt. And the way to, uh, to address the hurt is to take the thorn out of their side. Yeah, because we have kept quiet as a nation, ordinarily. Nigerians are under this present economic situation are suffering. And I think that any serious government should be interested in addressing those issues and assuaging the feelings of Nigerians and begging them and say, hold on, we must you know, try as much as possible to give you good governance. So what they're doing there now is all this, their self-imposed fight and then distracting our attention and we're not getting any, any services you know, from the people we have elected and all that. So if Nigerians will sit down and, you know, and be applauding them in all this fight, mm. in all this sort of fight, mm -hmm. without them addressing some of the needs why we elected them in the first place. Yeah. I think, I think, I think it's, it's a high time we begin to really raise issues. Okay, one moment. Let me, let me bring in Terry in Abuja. Good morning, Terry. Yeah, good morning, Yori and my, the guys in the studio. Thank, Thank you for you. calling Thank in. For, uh, are you with me? Very well. We can hear you. Okay, I say thank you for uh, the discussion you are having. It's quite interesting. Please, there's something I want to say in the interest of this country. See, the Bible tells us something very important. 
It says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and in verse 19, Wisdom strengthened the wise more than ten mighty men which, uh, which are in the city. One hundred mighty men are very, very weak where there is wisdom. All this shouting that uh, the, the chairman of uh, APC is doing, for me, is all foolishness. All it is all about negotiation, all about lobby and all the rest. All this shouting will not help us. They slept over their rights when it was time to elect any president. They didn't know what they were supposed to do. And this guy used wisdom and got in there. Why should we have a, a PDP uh, as deputy? PDP happened to get to where he is. Now he's there. Use wisdom and manage him. You can use wisdom and say, get what you want. They want to use force. They will never succeed with force because this is a time of law. It is not a time of, of, of a brute force. We are not in the military regime. So let them tell Oshomo to shut, shut up. He came in all his power, power, power. He fight everybody. This is not how these things are done in politics. It's lobby. It's wisdom. And not all this uh, brute force he wants to use. I think we are in the military era. Mm. We are not in uh, fighting for what they call it. Union fight. Where you can sit down and uh, walk out, go, don't go to work and all that. Okay. This is politics. We use brain, wisdom, and fight. And okay. get what you want. You okay. can not be opposition that they support you with what you want. It's not all this brute force he's introducing. Okay, Terry. It's going, uh, inflaming the, 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 the policy. I'm... Thank you very much for calling in, Terry. In indeed, that's a perspective. Um, there's a sense in which I think both of you gentlemen have also said as much that, look, whatever went on at that time, APC might not have read the situation well. Um, and they're still not reading it well. And so this is the, <laughs> the, these are the repercussions <laughs> that are coming from yeah. that. But we so that I don't historical. need to interrupt you. Yeah, we need yeah. to be historical. Yeah. So let, let, let me go on a quick break. Okay. And then when we come back, we'll continue with your call. Stay with us, please. Welcome back to Legal Minds, uh, Abbas and Ubani here, and uh, we've been looking at the whole logjam in the National Assembly, and there's not very much that can be done about it legally. If it were a matter of honor, if it were a matter of tradition, that's a different matter. Nobody's obliged to, to be honorable, apparently nobody's uh, obliged to follow conventions. Um, and indeed, the uh, uh, Senate president, uh, through his spokesman, Alain Yon, and I think through something that he and uh, the deputy Senate president signed, um, have shown that they have no intention of relinquishing voluntarily the, the seat. So we have a problem on our hands. And you gentlemen are saying that it's, it's not unprecedented. It's like uh, you're surprised that anybody will be surprised that we have arrived here, considering the incongruity of uh, the ideas of the of the people when they came together. So I'm now saying that, well, you've heard a commentary on uh, the APC chairman's, you know, uh, clarity of vision on the fact that the Senate president will legally be made to vacate his office. It remains to be seen how it's going to be done, but uh, Terry in Abuja, for instance, called it a lot of hot air. You know, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Uh, because uh, let, let, let me take what you think, Abbas. I'll come to uh, Onyekachi also. Uh, is, is the only option, are there other options? What, what, what options, what legal options are there? Uh, well, apart from fate and fortune, I don't know. Are there any other options? If the ruling party is so unhappy with the Senate president, as well they might be, he's moved over to the opposition, but he's taking you know, the, the, the position that he won on their ticket, that is the way they will be seeing it. What, what are the options apart from continuing as hostile? They're not even frenemies anymore. They've become outright enemies. Well, <coughs> the, the chairman of APC sometime on, te on air, on television. Uh, let, let me quickly take Abiola from Ilorin okay. before I come back to you. Good morning, Mr. Abiola. Good morning, Mr. Arita. Thank you for calling in. I'm happy to be part of the program this morning. We're happy to have you too. Thank you very much. My regards to the uh, sure. to the to guest test. Thank you. Um, please let me say this. Um, I want to believe in the fact that um, APC and PDP they are dead of the same feather, and they know themselves very well. 
And a situation whereby you know, Nigerians will be fighting at uh, this party or this party. When you say birds of a feather, both parties will vehemently disagree. Even? I say both parties will vehemently disagree that they are all birds of the same feather. They are birds of the same feather. Do they have anything to offer us? They don't. And let me say this. Let me go straight to my... I want to comment on last on what uh, and the last uh, speaker said, the last caller. He said something that Comrade Adam Michel Monday, he talks too much. They don't talk too much when, in, in, in politics. It is an action, underground work. You do your own work perfectly. Let them convey to the National Assembly. And when they convey, then you will use the tactics even if you want to remove president and the Senate president. Nobody, I want to repeat myself, nobody can remove Senate president by force. It is by law. If you want to re uh, 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 receive Oloye, that's what we call him here in Elori. You cannot remove him easily. It is he has parties more than them. <laughs> he used it in 2014, 2015, uh, when he wanted to become the Senate president. He used it for them in different ways. He has he has learned from Baba, from from his father. He learned what he called politics. That is the original oh, Oloye. Mm. The original that Oloye. That is that is Baba. Let me tell you, he learned politics and he knows how to play the although he's a medical doctor, but he learned what he called politics. And he has been doing it perfectly. If they want to remove him, I want Okay. Um I'm gonna say it quite uh, that if they want to let Usher Mole shut his mouth up, if it's not by a drag green, this is not comedy, this is not a, what do you call it? This is not a Labour Party. All right, then. This Th is not a Labour issue. Point taken. Thank you very much. Um, interestingly, those who uh, figures uh, 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 what uh, the gentleman has just finished saying, uh, I, I think Bukola Saraki, Dr. Saraki, Senate President Saraki has, has responded. I saw somewhere that, look, go check the numbers. You know, APC is saying that we don't even, let him not think he's as hot as all of that. If you go and look at the figures, and Saraki's people have responded that, go check the numbers, check them well, and you'll see that um, we stand by our position. But all, going back to the question, question yeah. how are we going to continue this very, 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 very abrasive relationship going on? You see, APC as a party, I think, needs to go back to the drawing board and ask a question. Can they win the 2019 war with all these battlefronts that they are opening? For me, I think I subscribe to all the advice given to the APC chairman because he seems to be creating more problems for the party than resolving the problems that were on the ground. You do not go into an election with your gloves on, ready to take on anybody, including members of your party who disagree with you, including members of the opposition. They should be more reconciliatory. He used that language. Mm. And that also was the undoing of PDP in 2015. Thank you very much. They were going into a battlefront. They were insulting everybody. One spokesman said, those who are criticizing Jonathan needs psychiatric examination. So for those who are not members of PDP, or who are neither members of APC, because most times this party make the mistake to think it is their members. It is their members that actually elected their party. Mm -hmm. Millions of Nigerians are neither PDP and neither APC. They are just pro-Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There are millions of Nigerians who are just interested in the evolution of a decent society, okay. a society we all can call our own, a society that will give us the opportunity for our God-given talent and potential to blossom, sure. a society where we can have the Nigerian dream, where I do not need to be connected to the president for me to become what I want to be. Oh, there are millions of Nigerians who are just interested in the, the, that, that Nigeria where all of us belong and okay. allow our God-given talent. You know, so this, this, if they are going into an election, yeah. APC must be very careful. Okay. Because when you begin to uh, assume that as a party you have the number, the, those who decide the election are actually non-members of the party, Which is millions. An, it's an interesting point that you make because um, Very many. I, I was going to say that politicians, uh, as you know, they often say what the public wants to hear. 
uh, and you are saying that, look, 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 there's an aspect of a politician where you don't put, you keep, you, you keep a, your gunpowder dry. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, but maybe the politician in Adams or Shomale is taking over where he's saying what the people want to hear, arguably. But in any case, let's hear again from uh, Kunle in Ilori. Good morning, Mr. Kunle. It's a lorry affair today. Mr. Kunle? Yeah. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, please. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Good morning. I want just to remind you of one thing. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Obani. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything I've been saying. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I just want to remind you one thing. By 1979, uh, the was the speaker, I was the Senate president yeah. then. Yeah. It was passed from the uh, two, was from the minority party, MPP. Yeah, MPP. yeah the, but I was And um, the two of them were successfully managed by Akimani. The same thing as of uh, Mr. Adini Kumar is okay. The deputy too was from the National People's Party. Yeah. You're and right. Everything was successful. You're, you're right. It's not unheard of, but it's the exception rather than the but rule. What I'm saying is, don't tell Adam Mosio Omodi. He's talking too much. Uh, battles, political battles are all warm on the pages of uh, this people. Okay. Uh, from a long that that point has been made. Thank you very much. We understand. That point has been made. Thank you very, very much. Please. It's a point that was made, you know, before. And uh, thank you for reinforcing it. That's your Can view. Can I quickly, sure. Sure. Let's, for the purpose of learning, mm. we must distinguish how the wires of the 1979. There was an alliance. There, there was, was, a, there was an alliance. alliance. So yeah. there, it's quite different yeah, but from this. The two parties came together, brought their resources together to form an alliance, and it was agreed mutually. Exactly. I will produce the Senate president, you will produce the deputy Senate president. It's a different ballgame mentally. Here you have a, a, a party that is saying, oh, it's Mr. A mm. that will want to be the Senate president. Mm -hmm. And the member says, I don't want to toe the line of my party. Exactly. I want to become and, the senior president. And, 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 and the man, the man emerged. I, I, and as I said, like, Navy no, 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 no. yes. played a role. You know, we see in in this agreement. When you say the man emerged, yes, he, 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 he was voted in by by majority that means, that by means, trickery. That, that means he doesn't how, believe how, in the supremacy do, of the party. How do you, how do you mean by trickery? By trickery. 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 The, by it's taking trickery. the party it's on. That it, what, how? What? it was in the house. It had no chambers. When the elected, where were the members of APC? When they elected you, did you go and sleep? Where were the members of APC? I'm asking you a question. Where were the members inside. of the house? Do you, when you say, what do you mean by trick? Where were they? Where were they? You're not going to rewrite it. Somewhere in a hotel, where this man was meeting in the house, and it was a match. A match. We must not Please, let's, let's not forget his. Let's not forget history. The president called for. So the president the says he is not interested in who emerges. That he's going to no. work with any person. No. That's the point. No, 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 no. Are we forgetting his? Look, no, uh, until no, no, no. now, the president of the you country you say, I don't mind who emerges as the Senate president. Uh, I work with anyone that emerges. Until Are we forgetting history? I was, I was allowing that you put forward your opinion there, but, but not recast the fact. Facts. You oh can't do God. that. No, Mr. Obama, no, Nigerians, Nigerians are watching. We yes. watch what, what transpired in the no. house. Oh, God, let me finish yes. that. Allow you to speak. Yes. We watch what, what transpired in the house. There was a sitting where the APC members were, meet, were meeting somewhere else, not in the hollow chambers. And then the majority that were there elected. Did the uh, APC oh, have oh, an me, idea of who was going to be the, their choice for Senate president or not? They did. Uh -huh. I agree. Uh -huh. I now, as a, as a disciplined party now, member, you question, why are you, you going against it? When, okay. you, when you ask a question, wait for an answer. Okay, sir. There were political processes and procedure. They were having issues as to how they will agree on who becomes the Senate president. The Senate president was saying, let there be a vote amongst us in which if I lose, I will not in any way contest at the national. They didn't know, they, there was no such process. They were keep, keep on having meetings that he cannot be. They might say, I contributed to this political process, to the margins of the president, mm. and every other person. Why are you asking me not to? Am I not entitled to it? They might say, let's have a simple vote within ourselves. And that vote never took place. So what happened was, the day they were supposed to meet, the APC members were not there. And within the House, they elected uh, Senate President uh, Bukola Saraki, and even a minority as deputy. Some of us cried foul. What is going on? Why would this you know, you know, happen in our country? At the end of it all, sir, we felt that since thing has, uh, this thing has happened legally, okay. you know what you do now is mm -hmm. also to follow legal process, either by political you know, sure. uh, compromise and all that, in order to give Nigerians now good governance. Okay. But we continue the war uh, do, do, for three and a half years now. We're almost you know, okay. uh, you know, making war without so, Nigerians' interest being taken into consideration. The, 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 the part that APC people emphasize that you are de-emphasizing is yes. this whole matter, of, if you're a member of the APC, yes. you conform to party discipline. I agree with you, but the man refused to. Okay. Okorafo. Mazi Okorafo. Good morning, sir. 
Good morning, Sayori. Good morning, our guests in the studio. Good morning. Happy New Week. Honestly the speaking, Sayori, National Assembly members should avoid any politics of promotion and confusion. Come Tuesday. Because the whole world are watching Nigeria. It's whether the impeachment saga or game plan should not work for any. The progress of democracy in Nigeria is what we want. All these issues of gay speech, black men, harassment, all over, is not ready for Nigerian politics. Now you ask yourself, are we going there because of one person or because of a party? No, this is issue of Nigeria as a whole. You see, we have now turned the National Assembly politics as politics of student union politics of Nigeria, which is not the right because this is the highest policy or decision making body so that makes work for the country. And they're supposed to be united and they're supposed to be unity and they're supposed to, to have a focus for the progress for everybody. But the situation now, whereby at the end of the day, it is the damn trophy who went and voted for all these people will suffer. Well, come 2019, everyone will tell us the truth. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day in Lagos. Indeed. Thank you very much. You see, when you take a position sometimes, and um, you see the position causing chaos, confusion, it's difficult to tell you that people are just conscious and aware that that position is wrong. It, it, it may, it, whether it's by law, what once people begin to agitate, mm -hmm. it simply shows there's something wrong. When apartheid was in place, it was a law. Apartheid was a law. Apartheid was a law. It was. Was it, it was. moral? I'm asking, was it moral? For 27 years, somebody stood against that law, that this is immoral. They thought he was an irritant. And they thought taking him out of circulation will actually bring peace. Would bring peace. They took him to an island for 27 years. He was out of circulation. But the world was wait, in favor. The, wait, the entire world was in favor wait, of Mandela. Wait, wait. They were against it. It, 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 it was a law. Wait, wait. It was a law. country, they believe in it. The entire world were, were against 20, it. 27, wait, wait. 27 years down the line. Mr. They, Bani, yes. you can't hop onto this particular. You, you can't point? hop onto this particular. No, you of course. Point. 27 years down the line, they thought that man was, uh, was the irritant. Yeah. That you are irritating the society. Yeah. If we take you out of circulation, the problem will go away. Mm -hmm. They took him to Robin Island. Mm -hmm. 27 years down the line, they came to the conclusion that this guy is actually our problem, that we're actually wrong. They went back to beg the man to say, please come and reverse that. So, look. Let me take Pastor Mr. Anekwe in the UK. Good morning, Mr. Anekwe. Uh, good morning, Yori. Thank you for calling in, Anekwe. Yeah, good morning to our guest as well. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, I just want to ship one thing, or well, just one or two things. Okay. Um, governance is about compromise and communication. The, the reality is that from day one, FPC government led by Mohamed Buhari, they did not have this very idea that they are going to win the election. But so when they won the election, it was like, wow, what are we going to do? They were sleeping. <laughs> when they were sleeping, someone that is very smart, who has contributed so much in the makeup of the APC, said, no, I know what I contributed financially, practically, in anything. That is Sen Senator Saraki. And he said, no, why should we go and appoint somebody? I have the mind, I want to aspire, which is, is all right. Then he went and aspire. Okay, Anikwe, right. thank you, you very much. Anikwe, thank you. Appreciate your point of view. We're allowing every point of view because we want to hear what the people think. So there are those who are endorsing Senate President Bukala Saraki's underhand tactics in arriving, saying that, look, sorry, it, uh, will, uh, the end justifies the means. That is effectively what we're will saying. Will it be the correct interpretation, sir? I, I beg to this, you know, this idea. Yeah. You know, what, we are, what they are saying is that, look, in politics, you play politics. It's not a moral game. I'm, I'm coming, sir. But not without but any Let me finish now. Let, let, can, I, can I come, sir? You know, in politics, you know, this man, was he not entitled to, be a, to aspire to be a Senate president? And somebody say, oh, almost everyone, including my friend, say, yeah, he has that, you know, that right to do that. Now, in doing that, the party said, no, he cannot do that. He asked, okay, can we do it through this method? So if I, I lose out, I won't go there. That was not done. Before he you know it, they were planning in order to ensure that he does not emerge. He has smarted them and emerged. So I'm saying that now that he has emerged... He has smarted your will, party. 
and you want there to be peace. Okay, we all condemned it. You, you, know, you know my position. What is? I am against. I am against. Which is the apartheid example my, that he's speaking brother, about right your, now? I am against these members in the house. If you are aware, I have taken them to court. My matter is coming up in October. Against the bogus salaries and allowances there. They are signed to themselves. I'm against them. I am, I'm, I'm not their fan. But, I'm not their, they are not my friends. But, but I'm saying for the interest of this country, mm -hmm. that is where politics come, the real politics comes in. You now play it in a manner that the people will begin to see the benefit of okay. governance. And not creating crisis. The moment the crisis are there, mm -hmm. you cannot make progress. And the people are suffering. So in the mean, know, so, so if I understand you, just yes. before I take the next caller, yes. you are saying let the sleeping dog lie. In the let light, Sarakiri remain till the end of this administration. Want, because if right? you want, the next thing right? is that you go to court. You know, do you, you, if you if you want to create crisis to remove, you cannot unless muster the two thought majority and mm -hmm. remove him. Mm -hmm. But in the absence of that, allow this man to just you know you know whatever and okay. all that and give Niger what Nigerians are demanding is good governance and we're not saying it. This People are suffering, sir. This National Assembly has contributed immensely to the failure of APC um, in, in several ways. Before you continue on that theme, uh, Yakub has been holding on for a while. Good morning, Mr. Yakub. <coughs> good morning, Mr. Good morning, Chief Jory. Please, uh, good morning, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Good morning, Pastor Vani. And then my, my the brother, other gentleman in the studio. You see, I, I, for the first time, I, I, I caught to disagree with my, with my friend, which is uh, uh, Barista Ubani. You see, if somebody can take a position by fire, by force, all because he wanted to be a serious president, and then the party said, this is the person we want. And then you, you, you trade your party out. You're giving the other, other political party with your position, you're giving them the, the deputy senate uh, president because you want to aspire to be a senate president. Yes, now that you are in minority, you have to do what uh, Governor Fabio, the former governor of Akwa Ibon, they say this. If you have said that there's no majority and that there's no minority, they say what's creating the minority leader and the majority leader in the house? Now that you are a minority, you move from one party to another. You have to leave that party as the deceased. That is about not about to Barista Ubani. You are saying that uh, uh, the, the government, people are not in the government of the day. Let me tell you this. The road from the uh, Lagos State to Atta Okuta, it is ongoing. The road from the Okuta State to Ibadan, it is ongoing. It should be completed in the, in the committee. The Itape road from the Ade Okuta, it is already complete. The road that they live, the road that they live from Abuja to Kaduna, where Jonathan started, it was completed. A lot of road, a lot of infrastructure, it is ongoing. You are not telling us the people are not in the dividend of I they are caught to disagree with that. You people are still the they will you may not say as what that we we we, 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 we ought to see. But I can tell you, I'm saying this because of managing of time. I can tell you in the due course, we will see a lot of things that President Mohammed Bari is doing. The man should leave the city. If you don't leave the city, they should continue. And then I can tell you, President Muhammad Dubai is going to win. Let's go on to the poll 2019. Let's see who is going to win the poll. All right, then. Thank you very much for talking coming about in. Winning you know, or no winning, we have not entered know, into it's that. just because you spoke about yes. not seeing the dividends no, no, of democracy. I'm talking about the economic situation. Oh, okay. The economic situation is not... I'm not talking about the building road and all that. I'm talking about the economic situation today. Just, just, it's know, not favorable. What, yeah, dividends. See, what Saraki did... See, what is bad is bad. Like I said, there are so many things that are not in uh, that are not law by nature, but they are tradition. Yes. And the tradition, most of them, they are well settled all over the world. If we are practicing democracy or presidential democracy the way it is and all we should also borrow the culture and the tradition that goes with it. On the one hand, and on the, other, on the other hand, you've just said it is a commonsensical thing that nobody does what has happened unless you are prepared for tumult. From for, for, for forever. Yes. Nobody does what has been done. Yes. You think Nigerians are interested in all this turmoil yes. that is going on? So they should They're just, not interested. So they should just what roll over. What they are looking for? What they Nigerians just want? Roll over yeah, and can, let can I tell you? Can I tell you? He talked I, about Akwa be resigning and all that. Please. Issue of minority or majority leadership is house rule. I'm talk, we are talking about constitution. The issue of emergence of a Senate president, there is nowhere in the constitution is stated that you must be a member of the majority party. Yes. But yes, for you to be know. a minority leader <laughs> yes. or a majority, yes. you must belong to. And I follow him. So yes. they don't, when, when you're making that instance, you yes. know, example of uh, Apabio resigning, mm. it's not the same thing with the Senate presidency. It's now the Senate president of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, not of APC. Yes. The moment you emerge, yes. you are now the Senate so, president of Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, of, uh, of yes. a, uh, Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's, so in removing him, 
or he resigning, he's not going to resign because of the fact, oh, because I'm no longer in the majority party and all that. It now takes law also See, to remove him. But is, and is in he, doing that, I mean, Mr. Obani, he must follow. My friend, you know it now. You know it. But I know. Also, if he resigns, yes, eh, Mr. Obani. that is his conscience. Yes. yes. But, but if you want to remove him today, we, we should, the law, we the should, law, yes, the yes, law, yes, if yes. you want to remove him today, in, what, in accordance with which we law? We need to encourage people but, to but, have but, conscience. Mr. Obani. Conscience. Yeah, we need to encourage them. I agree with you now. We must insist. But is that law? No. We need to remove her. No. Well, is there a provision of the law? We need to I, be a lawyer. I, I got to a move forward a bit. A lawyer. I, 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 is there a provision I, I, I in the law to Mr. how to remove him? Mr. Yes. Obani. I so why are you not talking about conscience? I know. You see, I got to move forward a bit. I'm not saying they should remove him unlawfully. Mr. Obani, in, in, in answer to the question, I'm not saying they should what, remove him unlawfully. Did what Senate President Saraki uh, do to arrive in the office, was it good or bad? Your answer is that the question is irrelevant. No, no, I didn't say that. No, no, oh, I'm, 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 oh, I'm saying, I, 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 I'm, you, you I didn't, didn't say that. that. But, but was, you're saying that hey, you're asking hey, a moral sir, question sir, of good sir, and bad. I was, and I good was, and bad I doesn't was, come into politics. I was a, an analyst known in this country in your radio station, Radio Continental. We condemned it that it is okay, a so bad. It bad. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Absolutely. Now that he has a bad, what are you supposed to do? I have someone on the line. Yes. Bad. <laughs> Continue to cause war. Hey, Kenne. Kenne in Macrody, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, thank you for jo joining us. Hello. Please go ahead. Good morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I, I, I want to put it here clear to you. Uh, you see, uh, politics in Nigeria, we, we don't have... Uh, yeah, uh, the politics in Nigeria... Oh, my God. That line was dodgy yeah. from the beginning, you know. Let, let me say something. We, we're all living witnesses. Because he, he, uh, Obani posted a, a, a position that, look, yeah, we say it's bad, but now that we have it, what do we do? How yeah. do we do? And that's, that's what we try to stop. Yes, with. look, try and manage the situation the way it is. But what do you also do when you find yourself in a situation where he's, a, he's constantly yes. constituting himself as a clog in the wheel of Because you make progress. him an enemy. Because you constantly make him an enemy. Sabotaging. Okay. Him because you constantly you know, make him, him an enemy. He himself an enemy okay. now. So now, do you now use continuously to make him an enemy? Cut him See. and get things sorted let, let, out. Wait, wait. That's how to play he became, politics. He became senior Is that why you want to play politics wait. or you play a different thing entirely? Mr. Was, I was going to say. politics. Was that why all most bills he was and working, and He was the person working against his own purported but, but party. In his heart, he will tell you that he was not. That the people hated him from the beginning. No. And then Tapo was put him and doing all manner of things. So he now says, you see, you regard me as an enemy. I have friends in PDP. That's why he ran towards them, and that's why he has been using them to score to whatever APC wants to do. And that is not good. Most so what bills. I want you to do is to uh, approach him. Most, say, most bills get that APC sent, yes. the executive sent, yes. to a house presided over by a member of the party. Most of the bills. A purported member of the party. A purported member. Mm. He sabotaged most of the bill. Yes. That's your personal opinion, though. Because yes. a lot of bills also have been passed by uh, this government. You are also good bills. You are also good bills. I know. Uh, uh, I know. Even, 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 even the sequence. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Can you hear me? Even the sequence, sequence of the election. Yes. Yes. The president said, I'm not going to sign. Yes. I want you to do it this way. Do you know that immediately they also amended in accordance with. Don't, 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 and, um, but get him to work for you. Get, get him okay. to work for you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nyeka Chiu. And for Nigerians. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. And thank you very much, Mr. Ahmed Abbas. Uh, both of you, you lawyers, both of you, you know, uh, experienced political analysts. Thank you very much for joining us. I and that's our you. program. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>